In this property scams mini series, I am looking at the scams and pitfalls that aspiring property investors can get caught up in. Today, I'm answering a really important question, should you pay for a property mentor? You guys know I'm a serial entrepreneur, but you might not know that I'm a serial mentor too. I've formally and informally helped as many people as I can over the years. This has taken many forms. I've been a columnist for the Scottish edition of the Sun newspaper for over a decade. Every week, I assist my readers to deal with their business problems. I'm also the resident entrepreneur at Strathclyde University. I relish that role. It's great. I love advising and guiding people, especially when they're just starting out and I get loads out of it too. I genuinely enjoy the feeling that I'm giving something back. One thing I want to make clear though, I've never charged for mentoring and I never will. There's a worrying trend springing up at the moment. Anyone can call themselves a private property educator and offer a mentorship program. Many of these courses are run by fake gurus or furus as I would call them. If you don't know what a fake guru is, stop watching this now and watch my fake guru video. If you really want to get rich quickly and have no morals or scruples, then set yourself up as a private property educator and offer a mentorship program. Anyone can call themselves a private property educator. There's no requirement for qualifications, there's no regulation of any sort, it's like the Wild West. If you can build a meaningful profile on social media, you'll soon be inundated with gullible students and mentees handing you over piles of cash. Would you believe the price of these programmes can range from £1,000 to £30,000? I don't want to state the obvious, but if you have £30,000 to invest, you'd be better putting it into bricks and mortar rather than a mentoring scheme. If a mentor gives you the wrong advice, there's not a lot you can really do about it. But what is really concerning is that some unscrupulous mentors are using their education courses as a sales funnel to recruit people to invest in their dodgy projects. I recently came across one such scheme. The GDV, the gross development value, was grossly overstated and the development costs were understated. Just so that last sentence makes a bit more sense, let me explain these two terms to you. GDV is property speak for gross development value. This is the projected value of a property development once it's completed. In other words, what the development is going to be worth when it's finished. The development costs are the total of all costs incurred from initiation to implementation of a project. In other words, the amount of money it's going to cost to do the development. In very basic terms, you deduct the development costs from your GDV and that's your profit. If you put up the value of your GDV and reduce your development costs, you're going to show a profit. It was obvious to anyone with fundamental property knowledge these figures had been massaged. No funder would have ever touched it with a barge pole. Guess how it was funded? A mentor got his mentees to 100% fund it. There was no risk to the mentor. The mentees were taking all the risk for very little reward. When it all went wrong, the mentor just walked away. You heard me right, he just walked away. It's not like the mentor was a proper property professional who had qualifications and was Rex registered. He was a random who attended a property course and decided he would make more money by being a teacher and mentor than a property developer. So he started his own property course. When it all went wrong, there was no governing body for the mentees to complain to. No professional indemnity cover for the mentees to claim against. What a shambles. I've read blogs saying that paying for mentors can be a good thing. They argue finding free mentors is difficult. If you're paying for a mentor, they will be a better quality. And a good mentor can have good connections. For me, none of these reasons stand up and certainly don't justify the exorbitant fees. I know a lot of business people who give up their time for free, including myself, and who'd struggle to find a better quality of mentor with better connections. You don't need me to tell you that we're living in a digital age and any info we need is just a click of a mouse away. There are numerous resources on the internet that could help you get started and the property mentors that I've seen in action don't offer any special insight. To be honest, the best advice I've ever had in property has come from having a coffee with a chartered surveyor. If you're just starting out, the best advice I can give you is to do your research and make the most of all the free information available. Use forums and keep trying to get as much background knowledge as possible. Believe me, it'll stand you in good stead. If you can recommend any forums or Facebook groups, please do stick them in the comments below. I'm not an advocate 
for paying for property mentoring. But if you've decided that's the road you want to go down, at least follow these rules to make sure you're not going to get ripped off and you will get something for your money. Firstly, check out your mentor. Credit check their companies and pull their accounts from Companies House, it's free. When you do pull the accounts, a lot of the time you're going to get a bit of a shock. Most property mentors will have a company which they used to run their education courses and mentoring business. They will have a separate company to run their property business. In a lot of instances, you will find the education companies are the only companies making any money. They're pretty poor at making money from property, but awesome at being a property guru. Avoid anyone who asks for money immediately. A potential mentor should ask you lots of questions as well as willingly and comprehensively answering yours. Be cautious if the mentoring is designed to lead to selling you deals or asking you to invest in projects. Aren't they just charging you to work out what to sell you? Finally, what does your gut say? If it doesn't feel right, walk away. Don't ignore your instincts. And whatever you do, don't trust anyone who calls themselves a guru. They will undoubtedly be a complete and utter chancer. A bit like my wee mate Freddy, who helps me out on my YouTube channel. Okay, first, I'd better explain who and what Freddy is. He's a furu. A what? A furu, also known as a fake guru. A con man. A scammer. A chancer, as we say in Scotland. A guru is an expert in something. An influential teacher. A furu is simply someone who pretends they have all these skills. What they do have is skills in deceiving people, and Freddy pretended he was an expert in the field of property and ran a number of property training courses. He was pretty good at being a furu. You might wonder what was in it for him. Are you really surprised to find out that he did it to make money? And when I say money, I mean a lot of money. Bags and bags of the stuff. I will leave a link at the end of this video with some videos Freddy has starred in. I've done over 500 million worth of property transactions, so I know what I'm talking about. I want to help you avoid dodgy deals and scams, so stay tuned to this mini series. I'll never charge you or try to flog you anything. All I want you to do is to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stick with me and I'll keep you right in the tricky world of property. Remember, I've left some links at the end of this video, which I think you will enjoy and or find useful. So hang about till the end. Thank you.